I'm Randy Reed, editor of Designing Lighting Magazine, and I'm honored to be joined by Randy Sabedra of RS Lighting Design. Randy, welcome. Good to see you again. Well, thank you for sitting down with me. And what I really want to do is help our audience better understand what is going on in the lighting design community. Well, uh, a lot has happened since COVID. Uh, the idea of an office is different, slowly getting back to normal, but even normal is sort of being redefined. As far as my architectural clients, the, no meetings in the offices still, everything's Zoom. I'm not complaining because I love just having meetings in Zoom. Are they in the office? They're just not letting you in? No, they're, they're, do, they're not in the office 100%. They are maybe three days of the week, and they try to alternate their staff. Slowly getting back to maybe four days a week, but most of them are, if you can work work at home, work at home. So if you want to talk to them, you're doing it through Zoom? We're doing it through Zoom, and it's much easier to send an email, hey, I want to discuss this with you. Fine, let's jump on on Zoom. Five minutes later, we're Zoom design sessioning. So let's take that to... Uh, Another step, how about the rep that wants to call on Randy? And he's got some fixtures he wants to show to you. How does that work? That has changed. Reps can't visit offices as regularly as they like to. And when they do, it's not a full office. Uh, what I personally do is contact the reps specifically for specific projects and go and meet them. Occasionally, they'll come to me in Brooklyn, but I'll usually go to their uh, offices in the city and then they can demonstrate the product to you that way. Yeah. But um, if, if a rep contacts you tomorrow and they want to show you something, are you pretty much open to that, depending on the... Yes, I'm open to it. Uh, but again, it's easier and more convenient for me to go to them than come to me. Okay, I understand. So how do you see the overall um, economy for lighting designers? Is the lighting design industry healthy right now? I feel it is. I feel it's bouncing back from COVID. I'm just as busy as usual. I'm perhaps busier. And I do know that some design, lighting design firms are trying to rebuild up their offices. If you look at the ISNYC's website and job opportunities, they're still listing available positions in some of the big top firms. So yes. Now, since the pandemic has your lighting design project, the types of projects, have they changed? No, not really. With so many people working from home, we understand there's not nearly as much office space being developed. Is that true? Possibly. That may be one uh, type of projects that there's less of. But I think, I think even the, the definition of an office is being uh, rethought. Uh, we saw that when they were, you know, taking corporate offices and everybody didn't have an office anymore. You had a desk and it was much more movable and more transportable uh, than everybody getting their own personal stations. Um, I think we're just defining, redefining what an office space, but perhaps maybe I'm doing less office biz, but, uh, and they're more open plan, so less private rooms. Let's talk a little bit about this show, Education. How's the show been? Wonderful, as usual. It's always a great show to see so many new products, uh, in particular with LEDs. I mean, when this thing started, there were only 30 manufacturers and uh, that showed products, and today, over 300. And this show started to educate people on what an LED is. Exactly. And now LED is the norm. And to find a light fixture that's not LED, <laughs> good luck. So did you see any products that you can share with our audience that you found exciting? Um, a lot of uh, very small optic-centric types of fixtures, very minimal scale, uh, track fixtures, perfect for millwork, perfect for casework. Um, uh, you know, a few years ago, all of a sudden, the curve, the bend, I can bend this product. I'm seeing a lot more bend and tube, which is amazing. You mentioned IES NYC. Explain to our audience a little bit about the work that you do for the Lumen Awards. Uh, well, I am technically the creative director for the Lumen Gala, but I also, behind the scenes, manage the uh, Lumen Awards submissions, along with our friends Adrian 
uh, Schumann and Clara Powell. And uh, we manage the judging, we plan a big party, and uh, work with others. on The funnest party in the lighting industry is the IES Lu ISNYC Lumen Gala, hands down. I agree. I mean, uh, we, everybody books their dates years in advance because it is a wonderful event, a wonderful gathering, and a great celebration of wonderful design. And sold out again this year? Uh, actually, sales haven't started. Maybe in a month, but we already know it's going to sell out. We already know. Every day. Well, thank you for your work that you do for the section and all that you do for the industry.